This is Black Butte up at Mount Shasta. This is a, a beautiful, beautiful spot. I've been here for a few minutes and uh, just kind of soaking up the energy. It's a place called Red Fur Flat. And uh, well, there's lots of red fur around here. <laughs> Just all over the ground, the bark and stuff that's kind of falling from the trees. I think it's it's representative. I'm not quite sure of what yet, but I think it has something to do with shedding, shedding furs, maybe in front of this pinnacle right here. I was walking through this forest on this bike trail and I just had to stop and sit. As I look around the forest, there's all kinds of broken sticks and, and branches and tree parts and bark. It's kind of littering the floor. It's kind of a carpeting over the, over the whole area that I'm seeing. I know you're looking at a mountain here, but it's, I just, it's a beautiful mountain to look at. <laughs> And I just, uh, again, I feel like, I feel like the world has something to say right here. Whatever it may be. You know, it's, it's for us to see. But I look at this mountain in front of me. I look at the view that I'm looking at it through, these trees. These trees are tall. There's a hole, so to speak, looking through out to this pinnacle, this triangle in front of me with... A road leading to it and a bunch of pinnacles in in the way i'd say if that's if that's my mountain that it's obvious that there's things between me and that mountain to to cross over and they look sharp if you if you were to walk from here to there you wouldn't just walk over the tops of it you'd get down in the trees and you would experience what life offers down in there you'd come out the other side a different person that's sort of how, how life works. And say that mountain is myself that I'm trying to get to. I'm looking at it through this sort of narrow causeway with a clear shot of a volcano. And what I say is I'm looking through the trees at a clear shot of a volcano that's waiting for me. The volcano's been dormant for so long. I'm not sure when the last time that any of this erupted, but I think about 10,700 years ago or so was when this butte was formed right here. So it makes it as old as a fossil. A fossil takes 10,000 years to form from the organic matters into the quartzes or whatever we're dealing with. So if that's a 10,000 year old rock, might there be crystal in it? And if so, if there is a diamond inside of that mountain waiting to get out, what does that say about, about right now? Well, I think it says quite a bit. I think it says that the road you're on is right there. There might be a couple curves in it down there, down low, if you can see any of that. Um, and the mountain is right ahead, which is the pinnacle of you. Through the trees, though the forest is thick, there's been sort of winds come through to sort of mow down all the, all the things that would be in your way in that life that we talked about down in those trees. So in this sense, the path has been paved forward for us it's been it's been lessened it's been eased eased forward from peak to peak we got triangles as i sit in the same shape of that mountain i envision myself a triangle and that triangle there in front of me and a light between the top of that and the top of me and we are connected 
And I don't have to go all the way down there into the bottom. Way down in there. And all those trees. And that road that's been paved with all those humans. Come out different on the other side. We connect spiritually through an unseen energy. Be like the volcano people with the diamond inside. Gain a clear vision of your the pinnacle of yourself. And begin to wield the fountain. <laughs> 